Hello there, and welcome back to uh, another episode of my modded survival let's play. Yeah. So, uh, last episode I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger. Also, just wanted to apologise. Uh, I actually, uh, I had far more recorded than I actually had time for an episode for. Um, and so that's why you saw, you, you might have seen at the end, like, just a, a couple of villagers, just like, um, there next to my furnace, it's, they're gone now, but, uh, they were there before. And the other thing is, I know, episode 2.5, I really should have put this out, like, a day after episode 2, but I'm lazy. I wanted an episode 2 spider farm. This is technically episode 3, but we're calling it episode 2.5, so shut up. Anyway. First uh, course of call, uh, obviously uh, have a look at these lovely little paths that I've made, aren't they nice? But secondly, uh, expanding on the villager thing from earlier, uh, I've started just a little bit of a villager trading hall-esque thing. So uh, I'm just slowly gathering up some wheat here, which I'll trade for emeralds for this guy. And then that's some emeralds in there that I've already got. And I'm just uh, slowly gathering up a couple of enchanted books. And uh, I have a couple in my chest back at home, I think, unless I left them in here somewhere. No, I did not. So yeah, I need to get that enchanted at some point, uh, but not right now, because right now I know what I have to prioritise, and I am doing that. But uh, before I get to that thing that uh, I should be prioritising, we have uh, another matter to consider. No, not you, Mr. Zombie. I'm talking about these guys. My beautiful little... Dogs. Aren't they lovely? Anyway, so, uh, names. We didn't have very many name suggestions for these guys, but uh, uh, I'd say uh, uh, three that I've gone for out of the small selection was um, uh, Bruno for my, uh, for my little red collared dog here, Bluebell for my little blue collared dog here. And lavender for their puppy. Aren't they beautiful? Unfortunately, currently I only have one name tag, and then I'd also like to put uh, mending on my pickerang. So that's going to use up a fair few of my levels, but it should be fine. Oh, hang on, no, I've just I've just remembered why I haven't put mending on it yet. I need to get an enchanting table. That's why. I'm an idiot. Right. I'll just rename this then first. Yeah, I only have an, uh, enough for um, uh, uh, for one name tag, so I'm going to go with the name that I think I'm probably going to forget because I forgot it before I recorded this episode. So that's going to be... No, I can't spell, but Bluebell. There you go, Bluebell. He's a good dog. Anyway, right. Finally, we're going to get onto the thing that I'm uh, prioritising in this episode, uh, and that is making uh, a very good, like, possibly the best spider farm that I have made in my entire Minecraft career. Not career, I don't know what to call it. My time playing Minecraft. I don't know, I'm, just, I'm messing up my words, just look, cart assembler. Isn't it beautiful? Right, uh, with this, we're going to be able to move mob spawners, but uh, there are a couple of other things that I will need to do first. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll make a quick checklist. One. No, one. Thank you. You don't know how many takes I've done of this. <laughs> anyway, one. Uh, we need power. Two. We need a mechanical Press. Three. We need a wrench. And four. We need minecarts. No, that says Minecraft. Why do I keep writing that? Again, you don't know how many takes I've done of this. Right. I will leave that as that. I don't want to do any more. Right. So we need power, a mechanical press, a wrench, and then minecarts. I'll explain my thought process. Basically, how a cart assembler works is that uh, you roll a minecart underneath it and then it picks up the block uh, that is on top of the cart assembler. So basically, uh, that's how I'm planning on picking up my mob spawners. So I'm going to place the cart assembler underneath the spawner, roll the minecart underneath, it'll pick it up, 
and then I can use the wrench to pick up uh, the, uh, the, uh, the brand new minecart contraption that's been created. But the thing is, to create a wrench, you need gold sheets. And to get those, you need a mechanical press. Now the thing is, uh, to make a mechanical press work, it's not just like a simple redstone power. Like you, you don't just use a redstone block or a redstone uh, clock or another thing that rhymes with block. I don't know. Um, yeah, you you need to uh, to create uh, to create power with the power sources that create offers. So that would be windmills, water wheels, things like that. And I'm planning on creating. Uh, well, uh, just, uh, no, right. So for now, I'm gonna stick you in there, because I'm not gonna be able to use you yet. Will you please shut up, Iron Golems? Ooh, that's a, that's a lot. Okay. Glad I got four of these, wow. Now, you see, the problem with this is, uh, usually... Uh, I would get my wool uh, in my survival let's plays that I've done before from my spider farm. So uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go out and gather this the old-fashioned way because I'm not accustomed to making sheep farms and I don't particularly want to. In fact, uh, 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 this series, I've just about avoided making a cow farm and I'm very happy that I've done so because they are frustratingly slow and, and expensive on wheat if you don't have a good source of wheat, like me. There, I see some sheep on my mini-map. Don't despawn, please. And don't get eaten by the wolves, because I can see wolves there also. Don't... Don't even think about it. Right. I need a lot of wool. Because I'm going to make a fairly massive windmill. Or at least, that's what I want to do. Because that will supply me with a lot of power, and I can link other contraptions off of that. So it'll be saving space massively. Well, I say saving space massively, but obviously that doesn't sound right because I'm said I'm making a massive windmill. But the thing is, uh, I mean like horizontally, because windmills you can make those vertically, and that's what I'm planning to do. So, yeah, just need to wait for these sheep to regrow their wool. Oh, there's an. I think that's yeah, that's a sh sheep with lots of wool. Where is another sheep? with lots of wool. I need sheep with lots of wool, as I have said multiple times. Where is the sheep? No, where are the sheep? I, 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 I'm just gonna cut to the... I'm just gonna cut to when I have some wool. I have wool! 48 of it to be precise. That should be enough for a, uh, uh, a 12 high windmill, which is not bad. That will get me a pretty decent amount of power, I'm fairly certain. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Huh. Okay. So how does one build a windmill then? Oh, no, go away. I think what I'm going to have to do is put radial chassis the entire way up, which I didn't think I had to do because that's not what it says on the... Right. Honda thing. Really, I can't see any other way in which I do this, so just gonna have to. Yep, that is what I have to do. Okay, right, cool. I need a lot more radio chassis. Right. Now, is this finally going to work? Yes! Okay. That took far longer than it should have done. Okay, but now we have power, which is very nice. Okay. Now to hook this up to some kind of, uh, what was it? It was a mechanical press. Then I can't be bothered to make the, uh, thing go upwards, so I'm just gonna connect it up right here. So then, if I go grab some of my gold, I think I need three things. I have no gold. Yep, of course, because I spent it all trading with piglins. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, right. Right, now to test out my new mechanical press. Let's 
It's very slow, but uh, there we go. Oh no, it's it, it only does one at a time. Okay, yeah, we could be here a while. Now I can finally go and make a wrench, and then the fun can begin. Right, I am going to head down into the mines and see if I can grab my spider spawners. Very large amounts of zombies. I don't appreciate it. Really putting some wear and tear on my sword. I didn't need my sword. It's yeah, probably going to have to a fair few spiders. Right. This isn't actually the spider spawner that I actually pinpointed, but it's uh, spawner all the same, so that's at least two that I know that I have. Also, what's that blue thing? I suppose I'll, uh... Oh, whoa, what are you? No, I don't like you. That doesn't look very friendly. And now I'm poisoned, and I have no milk. I could die here, potentially. Yeah, my sword is not faring very well. Where's the spawner? Oh, I've come in really the wrong angle here. My sword is going to die. I can feel it. No, 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 no. Don't make me punch to get to death a cave spider. Oh, I'm going to die. Don't let me die, please. What's this? No! You know, it's just occurred to me that uh, it's very lucky that I slept in uh, in my bed um, recently and, uh, and not my, like, um, just out and about bed because, well, uh, uh, I live very far away from the world spawn. So if I were to die and I had not, uh, and my bed weren't there, things would not end well for me. You! You! Can go away. No, I'm not. I'm not in a mood to fight you. Why am I attacking a weird ghost thing? Oh, it's gone. Well, that was nice. Okay, I'm. I, it's mildly confusing, but uh, I'll take it. Right. Anyway, back to uh, back to what I was doing. Right. Torch on the side. Torch on the top. I need my axe. Torch on the other side. Torch on the other side. And I don't think there's enough space on that side for more cave spiders to spawn. So I think I am now able to... Uh, Get this ready. Oh, I didn't bring something to... Oh, no, I, I can just make a button. No, I can't. Yes, I can. There is wood here. Uh, that that was a roller coaster of emotions. For something that ultimately only means having to uh, spend a bit of time just going back to... Go, going back home. Right, anyway. Just going to toss out all this junk. Minecart. Cart assembler. Minecart. Gonna place you down there. And button. Oh, I see. Okay, right. What do you mean a mystical force is binding this cart contraption to the world? Yep, yeah, no, I'm uh, on the Create Wiki, and it says, uh, uh, As of 0.3.2, car contraptions with spawners attached can no longer be picked up. 
instead displaying the message, a mystical force is binding this, uh, uh, this cart contraption to the world. Oh, it can be changed, changed in the config. Right, everything's, everything's fine. It could be changed in the config. Okay, right. Does this work now? Yes! Right, okay. Now we're in business. Okay, good. Now to go grab a bunch of other spawners. Hopefully it won't be as long-winded. So that you didn't have to watch me do that another, uh, what, seven times? Uh, I've actually just, uh, gone ahead and gotten all of them. Yeah, uh, I did have to, uh, go and find another abandoned mineshaft at one point because I ran out of spawners in the other one. Or at least I think I have that I- there might be somewhere that I didn't see that might have had more spawners. But I have them all, and that is something that I am very excited about. So, first things first, I'm going to have to find an area to stick this. Hmm... Where am I thinking? I'm thinking just over here. Yeah. You know, my village of trading hall is uh, already... Like, it, it just, like, it's, I mean, it's right over there, so it's convenient for the, like, uh, uh, to get, uh... It's convenient for the experience to be there, so that if I get books over here, then I can easily just head over there, get some more experience. Also, how much wheat did I... Ooh, that was a l fair amount of wheat that I gathered from just from being out. Let's, uh... Trade that for some more emeralds. Very nice. That is a fair few emeralds. But, yeah, I'm gonna start digging this out now. Actually, how big is it gonna need to be? Do I need to make a test in a testing world? Oh, this is turning out to be a whole thing, isn't it? Ah. Uh, this video... This video might come out a little bit late. Hello, here I am in my testing world, and I've just been testing out this design I came up with for the quad spider farm thing. So uh, I've just I've had it running for five minutes with my auto clicker. Ba, 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 ba. You get the idea. Uh, and I have gathered 27 levels in five minutes, and I think I'm fairly certain that's not bad. This is getting very loud. Hang on, I, just, I need to kill these guys quickly because they are very loud. Look at that, that was enough, uh, enough to get me up to level 30. And then this is the farm itself. So, uh, yeah, I had to get a bit creative here with um, uh, 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 with the water stream here because uh, it's actually uh, it's a two block center, and I'm used to building ones with uh, a one block center. So it made it a little bit annoying, but I think I just about got there. You do get a couple of cave spiders just here, but um, you, you, but you can never have uh, uh, any more than two in that space. So honestly, I don't think it detracts much. Then up here, you've just got a little area for any cave spiders that might. Um, uh, uh, might decide to crawl up the wall. Uh, I don't get any drops back from that, unfortunately. But um, uh, what what it does do is it um, uh, it makes it so that I can actually. But uh, it, it reduces the mob count, which means that spiders will keep on spawning from this massive cube in the middle. Well, I say massive; it's two by two by two, but it's 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 massive for a mob spawner.
no, 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 I am recording, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. I'm recording. Okay, I just, I almost finished building my, um, uh, my, 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 uh, cave spider farm. Um, uh, I was in the middle of recording the time lapse. Um, and, uh, well, um, yeah, cave spider explosion, because I didn't, I'm an idiot, and I didn't put the trap doors in. Look, still in my inventory. Oh. <clears throat> I'm an idiot. I'm such. I'm so stupid. I don't know how I'm gonna sort this out. Genuinely, I'm. I. I think. I don't. I'm just gonna have to end this video here. I. I don't want to sort this out right now. I am too tired to sort this out. Whatever you do. Don't mine out that uh, that kind of massive space without efficiency five tools. I am exhausted. I cannot think straight, and I am in no condition to sort out those cave spiders. So I'm just going to end the video here, and I'm just I, I'll probably deal with it off camera. It's it's just going to be one long hard slog. It's not going to be interesting. Even those of you who enjoy watching me die, it's 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 not going to be fun. I'll stop waffling. Leave a like, subscribe, if you want to, I don't know. If you're happy with putting up with this idiocy, then please feel free. But I just, I cannot right now, so I'm just gonna, bye.